Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Rick. And it has been a few years since I've done a video like this. Um, the last time I did mystery box videos from Second Charles was over quarantine back in 2020, so three years ago. Uh, basically, the reason why I decided to buy this, really quick story, I went to the Whitehall Second Charles, which is the Second Charles I don't normally go to. I normally go to the one in uh, Newark, Delaware. And uh, I went with John and RJ, and we met Dave there. And we noticed that the movie section had shrunk down dramatically, but I also noticed the influx of mystery boxes. So me and my flipper brain went, I wonder if they just pulled off a bunch of like titles and put them in the mystery boxes. And this I think is priced at $30, but because I was spending a certain amount of money, I got 20% off. So this cost me $24 and uh, we're gonna see if it paid off. So I am going to uh, open this and I'm going to kind of put it next to me. I have room on the table. I'm obviously not in my normal spot uh, in front of the, the bookshelves. So I need room just like I did this. And I will say the first thing I notice. Um, I do see a few Blu-rays, which the last time I did these, I think I got one Blu-ray out of three boxes, if I remember correctly. And uh, I'm going to have a quick drink here. Juneberry Red Bull, it's delicious. Um, so yeah, I noticed some Blu-rays already, which is, is exciting. Obviously the big, big problem, um, I doubt I will add anything to my collection. This was kind of done as a research study for the flipping potential of the mystery box. The other thing I will tell you, I'm guessing this is double layered. This is packed full. They don't just, it says at least 50, what does it say? It says 50 DVDs, Blu-rays. There's way more than 50 titles in here. I can tell you, I see one, two, three. There's 50 titles just on the top layer, and there are two layers. So it's probably 100 titles. So $24 a piece, if you get 100 titles, you're basically into those titles at 24 cents each. So I'm going to kind of dive in, give you guys my thoughts on what I think might be valuable. Maybe there's something for the collection. I'm just diving right in. I'm grabbing a handful. So the first thing here, Beetlejuice. Super common. Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom. Hansel and Gretel, The Witch Hunters. I've never watched this. This has some potential. Um, My First Miracle. It looks like it's a uh, religious movie. So that could have some value. Same with this. I don't know if these are public domain. It's a John Wayne three disc box set. Back to the common titles, Wanted, and Little Women. And most likely what I'll end up doing is these common titles. As long as they're in good shape, I'll trade in to Pam. If they're in bad shape, I'll probably just donate them to a shelter in the area. Uh, no sense of holding on to scratch DVDs. Like I said, I'll donate them to somebody who will put them to use. Might not be a collector, might just, you know, want movies. This is interesting from Brain Damage Films, Killer Vision. So that could potentially have some value. The other thing that always worries me about these are condition. This has a few light scratches, but it's fairly good shape. Hamburger Hill, I'm guessing, is a um, common title. Plus it looks like it's water damaged. Uh, this looks like it's a previous rental, Get Rich or Die Trying. I've sold these on eBay before, although I think they were sealed and had some value. It is the world of Peter Rabbit and Friends, Beatrix Potter. Uh, this is a BBC title, so that potentially has value. 
Uh, SEAL Team 6, the raid on Osama Bin Laden. Anchor Bay, I'm guessing that's a common. I'll obviously check and make sure because I'm going to check all the discs at some point as well. Coach Carter, that's common. <clears throat> a Stream Factory, Wormwood, Road of the Dead with slipcover. May have some value. San Andreas, the next Mega Quake. This being a BBC uh, DVD. So BBC can sometimes really have some hidden value. Other times, it's super common. Uh, I would definitely guess this has value. Um, Audrey Hepburn and William Holden in Paris when it sizzles. The case feels super clean, so I'm guessing the disc. Eh, this has a few light scratches. Something I would sell on eBay is very good condition. If anything's noteworthy, let me know what you guys think. But like I said, I'll... I'll go through and get the commons uh, ready to trade in probably tomorrow. Spoiler alert when I'm recording this video. Fifth Element on DVD is common. Uh, this is just a an old Mill Creek. This is going to be common. I don't even think Pam takes these, so this will get donated. Uh, our first Blu-ray is a sealed copy of Invincible. Not a super valuable title, but a sealed Blu-ray. Like I said, 24 cents a title. You're bound to, to make a few bucks for sure. This one, I'm not sure about the Hornet's Nest uh, on Blu-ray. Don't know. Don't know about this one. Looks like it's a movie, but then there's also real war footage. Hornet's Nest. We got some anime here. Cosmo Warrior Zero Cold Steel Immortals. Zero Zero One. Looks like it's a former rental of some sort. It's in a blockbuster case. Not in the greatest shape. Probably list that as good. Maybe acceptable. I'd have to look at it a little better. Danielle Steele's Vanished. I've sold these before. They can sometimes have really good value depending on who's in the movie. This has Lisa Rinna and George Hamilton. So it's basically, um, these are old Anchor Bay releases based on Danielle Steele's books that she wrote. <clears throat> Uh, Jarhead 2 on Blu-ray with a slipcover. Alan Rickman and Moe's Death starring Something the Lord Made. Not sure about this one. It's an HBO video. Um, I, I see something that's catching my eye. I will, I will save that for the... Uh, I got the whole bottom. Of ah, the whole bottom is packed as well, guys. So, like I said, you're, you're going to get your value just in... Common titles at 24 cents a piece. Oh. I see the word criterion on the bottom level. That's all I'm going to say right now. Spider Man 3, super common. A sealed copy of Ferdinand on Blu ray with slipcover. That's kind of cool. A Dollar Tree title here, Moonwalkers. I've never seen this. I believe it's based on. Um, like Stanley Kubrick creating the moon landing. The slipcover is destroyed on this. Like it's ripped in half, so I'm going to chuck that. It's sealed, though. This is actually a title I have in my collection already. National Lampoon's Golf Punks. This used to be worth some money, but I think it's uh, become a super common title now. Perfectly mint, so... National Lampoon's Golf Punks with Tom Arnold. Stargate, the Ultimate Edition. Another common title, Patriot. This used to... I think this used to be harder to find. Dudley Do-Right. I might be thinking of Monkey Bone, honestly. Dudley Do-Right, the widescreen DVD with Brendan Fraser. That's pretty cool. Charlie's Angels. That's pretty common. What about Bob? Good flick. Braveheart. Common. Another Indiana Jones. Came with a crystal scroll with slipcover. Common. There's a few titles catching. Oh, they had some, some some cool stuff on the bottom of this box. There you go. The Incredibles 2. Brand new. Fa factory sealed with slipcover. Not bad for uh, you know a quarter a title. This was another title I was looking for for the longest time. Loaded Weapon 1 on DVD. 
42. That's common. Catch that kid. Common. Awesome Power Spire Shade Me. Common. <clears throat> Wreck It Ralph. Daddy Day Camp. Beyond Borders. So nothing crazy. I do see a few titles here. The, the bottom of this box is. See, I wish I would have bought more of these boxes seeing what I'm seeing on the second level. Uh, we have Bridget Jones Diary, another common title. Uh, Tomb Raider, common. I'm pretty sure a few of these are really decent titles. Uh, Titan AE used to be a really solid DVD. Condition does matter. It does have the so once again, very good few light scratches. It does have its insert. It used to be worth decent money. I don't know if it still is. Um, that's There's some really cool stuff. Uh, Gods of Egypt, also on Blu-ray, also sealed. So we're already at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Blu-rays in the box. So that's awesome. Uh, next up, we have Batman the Animated Series Out of the Shadows, brand new, factory sealed. Could could be worth three or four bucks. That's awesome. Uh, we have a boutique title, guys. I'm, I'm wondering what the condition is, but it is a Severn release of Werewolf in a Girl's Dormitory. Case feels clean. The disc is mint. There's a fingerprint there. I don't see any scratches. I have light shining right in my face, but that looks super clean. That has to be worth something. Severn Video. This could pay for the box. The Chipmunk Adventure, brand new, factory sealed on DVD. I want to say this is probably a $20 to $30 movie, guys. Chipmunk Adventure on DVD and Blu-ray is worth really good money especially if it is in sealed or like new condition i think this uh this was a score and like i said there is stuff on the bottom that I, I i cannot believe so that's the top layer of the box already i think we're ahead of the game probably into to profit if not doubling up money i'm also trying to talk a little louder I'm not hooked up to my uh, microphone, my, my, uh, yeah, microphone. So this caught my eye. I don't know if this is anything special, but it's Steve McQueen Wanted Dead or Alive season one on DVD. Pretty cool. A little box set in there. Like I said, I'm going to kind of, I'm watching a movie tonight. I'm going to do some research because I'm going to Pam's. So I want to do trade in stuff. The original print of Fish Called Wanda. I believe this is the original print on DVD. Uh, a movie I've never seen. I do own on Blu-ray and need to watch. Sheena with Tony Roberts. Tanya Roberts. That, that might be worth a few dollars. Columbia Pictures. This is cool. The Loves of Carmen. Starring Rita Hayworth and Glenn Ford. Like a classic movie. A fingerprint, but super clean. Yeah, this box is uh, it's pretty sweet. Marley Africa Road Trip. A documentary with Ziggy Rohan and Robbie Marley. Documentaries, especially music ones, can sometimes go for really good money. This feels super clean. Sometimes I can just tell when you feel a case, you can tell it has that super clean, fresh feel to it. Yep, both discs are super clean on this one. Hatfields and McCoys. Uh, this is a um, public domain title, I believe. Alfred Hitchcock, The Farmer's Wife. Ooh, this case is gross. The Galaxy Rail Rays. The Galaxy Railways Station One Ahead Full. This is another anime title. Regions one, two, and four. Anime can be worth crazy money. I'll have to look that up. Replace the case. Uh, 
Decoys, looks like a horror movie, Columbia. Never have seen this one. House of the Dead 2. Haven't seen this. No, it's based on a video game. Uh, and here's our first two Criterions. Common titles, but still Criterions. The Rock double feature, or yeah, double disc Criterion set. And Silence of the Lambs Criterion DVD. So, common Criterions, but still Criterions at a quarter. This is cool. From Xenon Pictures, Tupac Versus, a documentary from 2002. Has that clean case feel. Super clean. And like I said, one of these DVDs could be worth crazy money and I would have no idea. Um... But I think, I think I've done well in this box. You're next with a Walmart or a Kmart slipcover. The slipcover feels like it probably had water damage, so I'll probably end up throwing that away. Tortured. Don't know about that. That looks to be probably a common title. Jarhead. Common title. Philly Fanatic Goes Hollywood. I don't think I've seen this. But I will probably keep that in the collection, actually, because I did not yet own this. So, as a Philadelphia local, that's cool. That will get added to the collection. What is this? Atrocious. Bloody Disgusting Select Film. Not sure what that is. Full Metal Jacket. Obviously a common title. Me and My Mates vs. The Zombie Apocalypse, starring Jim Jeffries, the comedian. There's definitely some interesting titles in here. It's possible they're not worth anything, but still cool titles. Kung Fu Panda, Common. The Criterion of Young Mr. Lincoln. Directed by John Ford. The two-disc set with the booklet. Few light scratches on disc one. Disc two just has some fingerprints. So a not so common Criterion title um, with its booklet complete. That's amazing. There, there's still some cool stuff coming, guys. I see, I see some more um, boutique labels. This is the last row, though, and I'm running out of room, so. A sealed copy of West Side Story on DVD. I think this is common, even though it is sealed. Cool. Um, this is cool. Martin Scorsese's Mean Streets Special Edition. Fresh and clean. That is cool. Fine. Wound Survivor. You got a common title there. Art Splita Art Exploitation Films. Terror Five. I mean, horror movies, you guys know, horror movies can sometimes be worth crazy money, especially if they were a limited run, a limited print. Um, intriguing. An Anchor Bay title. Uh, this is that reality horror movie. I remember this back in the day. The Scorned. It has like a Trichelle from um, The Challenge and Johnny Fairplay from Survivor. A few other people from The Challenge and Survivor are in this. I am familiar with this from back in the day. Ned Kelly starring Mick Jagger. Not familiar with this. Man, this is... This box is going above and beyond. It really makes me... Wish I bought more, honestly. Um, the Phys Ed 101 collection. Hoosiers, Bull Durham, and Kingpin on DVD. That's pretty sweet. It's a fun uh, sports pack, if you will. Black Hawk Down, that's a common title. Rachel Weisz and Susan Lynch in Beautiful Creatures. Man, I, I've never even heard of that. A universal title. All right, guys, we're into the last handful. Oh, man. I missed the table. All right. Two Moon Junction.
Columbia movie. It looks like a like a late night Cinemax film. Yeah, brought to you by the director of Nine and a Half Weeks and Red Shoe Diaries. I kind of nailed that. Uh, this is sweet. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1 on DVD with a slip. Pretty cool. This is the 10th Blu-ray. Braveheart, a common one, but still a Blu-ray. Heartbreak Ridge. That's cool. Forest Primeval. This looks like a very low-budget horror movie. I would be shocked if this was a legit release. Oh, it's a legit DVD. Forest Primeval from 2008. Maybe that's worth 10 bucks. Who knows? Mafia. Welcome to La Familia. Uh, this is like a common. This is super common. Something I wouldn't even look at twice while we're hunting. Sealed DVD with a slipcover. How to Kill Your Neighbor's Dog. It's aggressive. Uh, Millennium Pictures starring Kenneth Branagh and Robin Wright Penn. It looks like it's in an old blockbuster rental case. Labor Day. That's common. Somewhere. Movie I got on Blu-ray. I still haven't watched. I do want to check that out. Welcome to the Jungle. This being a genius uh, Dimension Extreme horror movie. Another Criterion. The Lady Eve. I, not a common one in my opinion. Not one I see hunting. A few fingerprints, but another clean disc. So, between this, Young Mr. Lincoln, the Chipmunk uh, Adventure Sealed, the Severn title, we're easily double money. And that's just for like those four or five titles. And I still see uh, these last four titles are pretty awesome. Uh, Stay Away Joe and Elvis movie. Elvis movies, especially obscure ones, can go for really good money on physical with your hunting. Looking for flips. Not the more common ones, but Stay Away Joe I don't see very often. A sealed Olive Films release of That's My Man. I, that has to be worth a few dollars for sure. Don Amici and Catherine Millad. And then the last two titles are both Blue Underground titles. Django and Daughters of Darkness. Guys, this is... So much better. Uh, obviously, I have to check this for condition and everything, but I am very, very happy with what is in this box. Yes, there is a big stack of common titles that doesn't really have any value, but even if I trade these in the PAM, I'll get some store credit and might be able to put it towards something for my collection or, um, you know, something for me to, to resell. Um, that will sell quicker than these super common titles. I've tried to do mystery boxes on my Instagram and everything. It just didn't really work out. There wasn't enough demand. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of video. Uh, if you want to see more of these, it's possible if I can get to that uh, second Charles. It is quite a hike from where I live. But uh, if it was, you know, if I do the math and it was worth going, I would make another trip out there. Although I'm sure every uh, mystery box isn't going to be as awesome as this one. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, as always, check out the description box down below where you can find links to all my stuff. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Letterbox, where I write and review all the movies I watch. My eBay store, all that can be found down below. So thank you guys for watching. As always, until next time, who's down to movie?